Preparing for high pressure sales tactics at a car dealership involves being well informed, doing your homework, and being ready to counter common strategies employed by salespeople, and that's precisely what we'll help you do today. Welcome back to the Homework Guy channel, your go-to source for navigating the purposely tricky world of car sales. I'm your host, Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, and sitting right across from me is the amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. Thanks, Kevin. Today we're diving deep into the world of high pressure sales tactics. Have you ever felt cornered or coerced by a pushy car salesman? Well, we've all been there. Some of this stuff we'll cover today we've said before, but for the sake of new audience members and to refresh your memory, we'll hit these items again. So fear not, we're here to arm you with tips, tricks, and insider secrets to help you hold your ground, Elizabeth style. Elizabeth style. <laughs> wow, that's setting the bar pretty high, Liz. Hold on to your hats and get ready to turn the tables and become the master of your own car buying experience. It's time to outsmart the slick, highly trained sales game found in car dealerships. We're uncovering the top high pressure tactics used by salespeople and how to effectively counter them. So buckle up, it's going to be an exciting ride. Here are some of the comprehensive strategies to help you deal with these tactics. Number one, research and preparation. Research the car. Knowing what type of car and features you want is always advised, and knowing what those specific models are selling for in your area matters too. Check out reviews on sites like Consumer Reports or Kelly Blue Book, or if you're a member on our channel, check in with us. We'll be happy to steer you right. Also, know your credit score and budget. Be aware of how much you can afford and what APR you qualify for. You can learn this by getting a pre-approval from your own bank or credit union first, something we have repeatedly recommended. Just don't let yourself get pushed into a conversation about car payments. Compare prices. Use the internet to compare prices of the model you're interested in. Sites like cars.com, True Car, and Auto Trader, and Greg Fidan's Real Car Tips can be real useful. And financing. Shop around the financing before you go to the dealership to find the best rates available. Always have this baby well in control with that loan pre-approval Kevin mentioned and held tightly in your hand. Number two, countering sales tactics. Orientation, salespeople may try to build rapport by asking personal questions. Don't let them drill down into what you do for work, details about your family, or other personal information they can use against you in later conversations. Be direct about what you want, a strategy that will save you both time and money because it will help you avoid being swayed. Persistent selling. Firmly let the salesperson know you won't be pressured into making a purchase. You just keep saying, if I buy, I'll buy on my own schedule, not yours. Pushing me will only lose me as a customer. If they are too overly pushy, don't hesitate to just leave. Sometimes the message doesn't get through just by talking to them, but getting up and walking out can work negotiation wonders in your favor. Absolutely. Running down the clock. Don't feel obligated to make a decision on the spot. Let the salesman know you are not in a hurry and will definitely need more time to think. If you visit a dealership, take a spouse or a friend with you and just tell the salesman from time to time, could you step out of this office and give us a moment to talk privately? Payment versus price. This is huge. Focus on the total purchase price rather than monthly payments and always ask for a complete breakdown of all the details. Profiling. Be aware of questions aimed at profiling you as a person and stick to discussing the specifics of the car and the deal. Time sensitivity. Do not listen to the line, this offer runs out today. Challenge any claims about time limited offers or the scarcity of the model that you want. With inventory of cars being as high as it is right now, scarcity is way gone from being an issue on the table. Way off the table. Extracting concessions. Don't commit to the deal immediately. Even if concessions are offered and even meet your needs, keep your options open. They don't come back with an excited look on their face if you're getting close to the bottom of where they can go. <laughs> it gets intense, and that's a good thing, actually. That's a really good point. Misleading information. Stories can get wilder as the negotiations go on. Stay informed about the vehicle and don't fall for exaggerations about its capabilities. Add-ons. Be wary of unnecessary add-ons and extras that can inflate the cost. These are otherwise known as tied selling, something we have written about on our website and produced a video about. It's illegal. Management approval. Understand that this is often a tactic and stand your ground on what you want and need, even if the manager comes to your table. Don't be intimidated. Their job is to be the closer if your salesman hasn't gotten you to fold by this point. Trade-in trick. Know the value of a trade-in long before you are sitting in the dealership. Don't fall for a subpar offer designed to steal your trade. 
open-ended questions, and alternative choices. As you get deeper into negotiations, expect this to happen. Stick to what you specifically want and don't get swayed by alternative suggestions. And then there's always hidden fees. Dealers suffer from a fee disorder. <laughs> Insist that all fees must have been included in all previous discussions and email exchanges rather than added on at the last minute. This tactic violates deceptive pricing laws. Credit adjustment. Be precise about payment amounts and ensure the final agreement reflects the terms that you've discussed. And then other general advice, trust your gut. If something doesn't feel right, if you don't like what you're hearing, be prepared to walk away. Definitely don't commit immediately, especially if you are just browsing. Make it clear to the salesperson you are far away from a decision time. And then keep your cool. Remember the salesman's goal is to make a sale and to rattle you a little bit if necessary, but you are not obliged to comply with anything you're uncomfortable with. Understand sales cycles. Be aware that certain times of the month, like month's end, you may see more aggressive sales tactics due to dealership quota pressure. In summary, the key to handling high pressure car sales tactics is thorough homework and preparation, clear communication of your wants and needs, and a readiness to counter common sales strategies. Remember, you are in control of the buying process and should feel comfortable with every aspect of the deal. Always use the tactic of walking out when things just don't make sense. Friends, if you feel you lack the skills to run the sales process gauntlet and resist high-pressure sales tactics that we have described, get a coach in your corner by becoming a member on our channel and have us talk you through to success. We're totally happy to do this for our channel members. If there are specific details you'd like to see reinforced in print from this show, visit our website and you can find a full transcript of this topic there. Now, as I mentioned, if you'd like our direct help with this or any other car buying challenge you're experiencing, you can join our channel as a member today and get direct help from me or Kevin. We don't want you to get burned and we promise that with our help you won't. It's extremely easy to join. Just hit the little join button right below the video and select the package that's right for you. If you have trouble finding out how to join, send me a text to 701-441-3399 and I will text you a join link. The Homework I Help package is available for $24.99 which offers direct email contact with us. You can ask us unlimited questions via email, which is a special members only email. But the very best value is the Homework Guy Consults package at $49.99. You should also know that you can start out at the consults level and then drop back to a lower package after you buy your vehicle if you'd like to continue to support what we do. This is the top level of direct involvement with both me and Kevin, and you'll get direct contact with Kevin's personal cell phone. Don't be surprised if the legend himself calls you to discuss your car buying plans directly. Also, any membership level can be canceled or downgraded at any time, so there's no risk in limited expense for you. To make it easy for you, I have already posted my personal cell number in the members only section of our community page several times. And yes, I have been calling many of you. As many members have said, the value of the membership was well worth it with just one phone call. Today's show was an example of the high quality content you'll find in our upcoming handbook designed for car buyers. Be aware that becoming a member is simple. Just hit the join button like Liz said below the video or you can send Liz a text at 701-441-3399. I also want to remind our regular viewers about all the free content we have on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. So make sure you take time to give us a visit. We've been busy improving our website and you'll love what you find there. Besides the website, you can also connect with us on other social media sites like Facebook. So go like our Facebook page if you haven't done that already. If you've just recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And if you're a member on our channel, we thank you and we appreciate working with you. Thank you for putting your trust in us. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, The Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, The Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business, and always will. We've, We've got to go. go. You can't go! All the plans are going to die!